MLB World Series. Games one through seven. And a very special thing happened last night. All of that coming up. Stay tuned. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to another edition of Home to Work Vibes. I am your hostess with the mostest, Shelton Palmer II, or Shelton Palmer, however you see fit. Welcome. To another edition. I appreciate each and every one of you viewing. As always, if you are new or returning, do like, comment, share, and subscribe to this video. Also, if you're on Twitter or Instagram, do follow me there at Tony Gumbel 21 This is what they call the Fall Classic the World Series Something very magical happened last night. In game one, the Nationals beat the Astros five to four. Max Scherzer was the winning pitcher. Gary Cole was the losing pitcher. And the save, the save pitcher that saved the game was Sean Doolittle. The Nationals started the series off winning one game to nothing. Game two happened. The Nationals once again beat the Astros 12 to 3. Steven Strasburg was the winning pitcher. And Justin Verlander was the losing pitcher. Astro, uh, the Nationals are now two games to none. Game three. The Astros are back in the series. The Astros win four to one. Josh James is the winning pitcher. Anibal Sanchez is the losing pitcher. Roberto Ozuna is the saving pitcher. The Astros are now two and one. Game four comes, and the Astros once again win the game. 
eight to one. Jose Huayude, I'm sure that's how you spell his name. I'm not not quite sure. Is the winning pitcher. Patrick Corbin is the losing pitcher. The series is tied two games to two. Game five. The Astros win the third straight. Garrett Cole and the uh, the final score was seven to one. Garrett Cole is the winning pitcher. Joe Ross is the losing pitcher. Six, sorry, I was switching lanes here. Game six, Nationals beat the Astros seven to two. Winning pitcher was Steven Strasburg. The loser pitcher was Jason Verlander. The series is now tied. Game seven last night. The Nationals win 6-2. Patrick Corbin is the winning pitcher. Will Harris is the losing pitcher. Now I would like to say congratulations to both teams. Both teams played a heck of a game. Now, here's something interesting. Here's something very, very interesting. Bryce Harper in free agency last season left the Nationals to go to the Phillies. And he said something that was interesting. He said in his introductory press conference with the Phillies, He made a little He made a little comment, if you will. I guess he forgot where he was. And he said that the Phillies were going to bring the title back to DC. Now here's the crazy thing. He plays in the same division that his former team plays in. Crazy, right? He plays in the same division that his former team, the Nationals, play in. Oh, and here's another fact. The Washington Nationals have not won a World Series in some years. 
since 1931. But the question is, if Bryce Harper had stayed with the Nationals, If Bryce Harper stayed with the Nationals, would that have done anything? That question we will never know. Because Bryce Harper went to the Phillies the Phillies had a decent season. Mind you, it's been 11 years since they last won the World Series. The world will never know if, if the Nationals would have won the World Series with Bryce Harper. We just don't. Yeah, it'd be great to know. But that's something that we will never know. But do you see how quickly things turn around when a big piece of your of your baseball core leaves. You notice that? When someone leaves a team and goes to a different team, that's where everything just opens up. You know, Everything, excuse me, that's where everything just opens up. Bryce Harper leaves, and then the Nationals won the World Series. I tell you, you got to love it. You have to love every minute of it. You really do. You really do. As I said, congratulations to both the Nationals and the Astros. I was wanting to do a video on each of the series, each of the games. However, I never got around to it because of other business I was taking care of. But, hey, at least I did it. <laughs> at least I did it. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to get off of here, YouTube. We got a Thursday night game tonight. We have the three, three and one, I believe. Cardinals. Or the the eight and o, uh, the eight and o forty nine ers versus the three three and one Cardinals. But be expecting a video of that in, tomorrow morning. All right, it's been it's been good, YouTube. Uh, hopefully, you all enjoyed this commentary. Hopefully, you all enjoyed the video. I'm sorry, I'm still waking up. Uh, as always, if you are new, do like, comment, share, subscribe to this video. If you are return, uh, if you if you are new or just returning, do like, comment, share, and subscribe to this video. If you're also on Twitter or Instagram, do follow me at Tony Gumbel Twenty One. As always, YouTube, live your life the way that you want to live it, not not the way someone else wants you to. I'm Sheldon Pound, and I'm signing off. Take care.